So I got on a train and ended up coding something train related again. This time it's a toy train track generator for sets like Brio. I started with basic HTML and added a styled canvas so I could see where I was drawing. Then it was time to make the pieces. I took a photo of a few I had at home to use as a reference and began with the straight piece. Wanted it to have a start position and an angle, so I passed those to the constructor. For the length I just used 100 for now and drew a line. But I figured the object should also know its endpoint. So I rearranged a few things and computed that too. Next, the styling. I wasn't sure how wide the track should be. I checked my photos, wasn't clear. Looked online, also unclear. Eventually, I noticed a piece that looked squarish, so I went with 40 pixels for the width and 144 for the length, using a direct millimeter to pixel conversion. Once I fixed how the value was being used, I played with colors a bit, and it looked nice. Added rails, using a second semi-transparent black line to darken the base, then added another line on top with the original color for highlights. After some trial and error, I got something that looked good. Then I wanted it to look really good with those little knobs. I drew them as simple circles and added small line segments at each end, one going in, one going out. The outer one got the brown color, and the inner one used global composite operation destination out to erase the pixels. Next up, the curved piece. This was trickier. I wasn't sure how it compared to the straight one. I measured a few pieces, looked at some charts, it wasn't obvious. But I guessed it was probably this one. I added it below the straight piece, reusing some of the code with a different length. Now to make it curve, I usually use Bezier curves. But in this case, 8 curved pieces make a circle, so arcs were better. I defined the piece based on a circular segment, played with the angle and radius, lots of trial and error. I even drew the circle as a debugging aid. The piece now ends at pi by 8. Tried pi by 2. I swapped the line for an arc and voila, ready for styling. The debug circle was ruining the look so I removed it. Now since this piece can be flipped, I added a parameter for that and created a new instance to test. The parameter wasn't doing anything yet so I tweaked the code and it worked. Then I moved on to the split piece. This one here. I wanted to reuse the straight and curved path, so I generated both and drew them together. But one was blocking the other. Not good. I tried using global composite operation darken. It kind of worked, but the layering caused issues. So I switched to drawing each part on its own canvas, then copying the result to the main canvas. Basically caching. At first I considered computing tight bounding boxes and creating small canvases per part, but that got messy. Instead I went the simple path. Draw everything onto a huge canvas at the correct location. Not efficient, but okay for a quick prototype. Once I had the straight piece working with caching, I updated the split and curved ones the same way. By now I really liked where this was going, so I cleaned up the code. Made the piece super class to hold common stuff like position, angle, width, and the caching logic. All pieces now extended. There's also a method to return the endpoints, although I realize now it would have been better to return all endpoints. More on that later. Then I noticed the straight part of the split piece was too long. Adjusted that, also tweaked the curved radius to 200, looked better and matched the charts in my physical pieces quite well. Now I wanted to make a full track. At first I thought I'd just define how many of each type of piece I need, but it wasn't clear how to connect them. So I started simple, wrote an array of labels, and looped through them to create the pieces. Each new piece used the endpoint of the previous one as its start point. I moved them a bit to see more of the track, and it worked, but I wasn't updating the angle yet. Added that, and it looked much better. To see more pieces, I had to scale the canvas. That's when I spotted an issue at the end. I colored each piece differently for debugging and saw problems with the angles. Earlier I only tested with zero angles, so this wasn't really a surprise. Went back to one piece tests, tried different setups and eventually got it working. Next I wanted to add split pieces. I thought about using two parallel arrays, one for each branch, but that felt limiting. Then it hit me. A tree class. No, better, a graph. 
That way branches could even merge later. Back in the main file, I thought about what I wanted the graph to do, then started building it. Each node had a corresponding piece, and I tracked which endpoints were already used. So when connecting to a split piece, it would automatically go to the second branch if needed. With a bit of polishing, it worked. I rearranged things, added more pieces, and thought about reconnecting the branches. For that, I needed a reverse split piece. If I used the letter Y because it has that shape earlier, I needed an upside down Y. Couldn't remember the Greek letter for that, googled until I found it. Lambda. Added a placeholder and once it worked, made a proper object for it. The logic was simple. Straight parts should end where the curve does. So I moved the start point accordingly, fixed a small bug and there it was. Perfect timing, I was almost at my destination. There are still a few things I'd like to fix. For example, that last piece fits visually, but isn't truly connected to the graph. If I were to support that, I need a system to validate connections, like checking that pieces are close. In the real world, there's also a tiny gap, some tolerance I'd like to account for eventually. But yeah, what do you think? Should I build a real project out of this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.